Japanism is the term that's used to describe the influence on the arts of Japan on artists of the West. And ever, ever since the very first contact in the 16th century, Japan has always possessed a, an irresistible fascination with Western culture. And then this allure was only increased when Japanese ports reopened to trade with the West in the 1850s. And that's when a tidal wave of foreign imports flooded European shores. The Japanese aesthetic, aesthetic has greatly inspired Impressionism, Post-Impressionism and also Art Nouveau. The artists of those times were especially affected by the, the asymmetry and the irregularity of Japanese art. Uh, the Japanese art consisted of, of off-centred arrangements with no perspective and, and light with no shadows. Also the, the Japanese art uh, depicted elongated formats. Um, and, and aerial perspectives, and also the Zen concept of, of spaces that had been emptied of all elements. Also the, the Japanese woodcut prints by the masters of the Yukio-e school really transformed the Impressionist and post-Impressionist art. Um, and that by demonstrating that, that really simple, transitory, everyday subjects could be presented in appealing of the Japanese aesthetic that I have chosen to depict. Perhaps commonly overlooked objects, you know, including um, branches of a gum tree or flowering blossom or a flowing stream. I've lived in the bush land surrounding Melbourne for pretty much all of my life and it's really quite easy to overlook the subtlety and fragility of these delicate blooms especially when they're surrounded by such hardy bush. With regards to this body of work, my intention has been to offer a fresh new insight on everyday elements by taking them out of the familiar setting and then placing them into a new environment. In these paintings, I'm, I'm offering Australian flora a sense of space which it might not have had in its natural environment. So areas of, of empty space rest beside 
magnification of, of leaves and flowers, which allows the viewer to experience both a focus on the shapes, but also the space to contemplate the details of these forms. Voids of space within these works suggest the magical, alive dimension beyond the material. The form and the formless combine to create a sense of harmonious balance. These paintings are material objects that depict an image which arose from the essence and which at their highest function will offer the viewer a window to their own invisible essence within. Thank you.